Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I'm about to get started on a 60 minute chakra body transformation session. So I'm gonna be walking into the client's energy field and we'll be feeling out how the different chakra bodies are communicating and we'll do work here to harmonize everything, bring it all back into the heart portal, have all the chakra bodies working together as a team, and then see what we can do to expand and enhance the energies of the soul star chakra and earth star chakra. So um, I will say this is a follow-up session. Um, I had done a 60-minute soul journey just a couple weeks ago. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the description a link to that set, a soul journey session. Um, and the client, too, shared some really beautiful um, thoughts and feelings about that session. I'll put those also in the description. Okay, so in saying all this... Um, I'm doing this session for Jennifer, and Jennifer told me that um, her goals for this chakra body transformation session is open. So we can just, um, she says, do your thing, Abby. So <laughs> we're just going to do, we're going to do my thing, I guess. <laughs> we'll do the spirits thing, and we'll see where this takes us. Uh, all right. Just one moment here. I'm actually just going to absorb more of your energy from your, from your message. And then I'm going to be getting connected. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm going to relax now. Okay, Jennifer. Let's see. See what we walk into here. Hmm. Well, I see it's, it's sort of like walking into the vast openness and there's a, a golden hue of light. It's almost like the sun is rising on a new day kind of thing. And then this golden sunlight is just basking everything in these rays of golden light. And the sun is in the horizon and it's not fully up yet, but it's a really bright new day and it feels good. It feels like it's going to be a great day. <laughs> That's a really great way to start a session. <laughs> All right, now the next thing that I feel is I'm still at a distance, so I want to feel closer to the rising sun, and I still feel a bit at a distance from truly basking in all the rays that I want to soak up, which is interesting because you can't be any closer to this light than you already are because the light isn't out there. It's already within you. So we have to alter whatever the energy program is that says I'm still separated from light um, and, and enhance it so you know that you already are the light, right? So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna continue to watch because you're still feeling like I still feel too far away from where I want to be is what your energy is emitting. It's what it's saying. And I show you how easy it is for me to just grasp the sun and then to bring it to you. But then my spirit guides, it just sort of like disappears in my hand. And now I can't bring anything to you because that's your responsibility to find the, the sun is already within yourself. And this is an old hurt that is inside, inside of you. It feels like an inner child type of thing. Like I feel I'm sad. I feel like I don't know how to do that. I feel a bit cast aside and that I'm all alone and trying to figure out how to do that. And it feels sad and disappointing and bewildering. But it's not you're not falling apart from it. You're still solid and, and in a state of acceptance, but you're hurt. And I feel that's lingering inside you and there's an inner child um, emanation about it. Oh, man. This is a hard one. So because you've already decided that this is a hard task and that it's going to require a lot of you, now you're creating even more separation between yourself and where what it is that you are wanting to experience. Because once you decide inside yourself that this will take work, now it's going to take work. 
and uh, there's somehow this was like sewn or woven into um, the rug of your time of your soul's life. Okay, <laughs> so we need to we need to alter that program. It's just an energy program. The energy program states um, you will you A, B, and C are true. Therefore, A, B, and C become my reality. All right. So if A, B, and C are not true, then now my reality is based on something else. So we alter the program, which is just an energetic structure that, that defines your reality. So we just alter that, and now your reality is different. You're, you're really holding on to this one and feel very confident that this is truth, that this is the truth, that this is hard, that this isn't going to be easy, that it's going to take a lot of work, that, that, that you reaching this horizon, um, you becoming closer to that light, um, is not something that you can just be there. It's something you have to work towards. You've decided you have to work towards that achievement. Therefore, you will have to work towards that achievement. It's not just going to but be there, you know, just like voila, here it is. So you're... All right, the, this is kind of interesting, but you're making your life a lot more work than it needs to be. <laughs> and... Imagine if your life was 50% less demanding. We need to alter your program for sure by 50%, okay? <laughs> You're really sure that A, B, and C are the truth. But why don't we do A, B, and C divided by 2? <laughs> and we'll like get 50% less work for you. You're going to do that. Because it, it's funny, it's like, I want to just completely rearrange this, but because of you're holding on to this, like, this is your shirt and your underwear and your pants and you're not getting naked today, then we're just going to take 50% off, okay? <laughs> we're giving you a deal. <laughs> so let's see if we can do that. You don't, you don't like this conversation and you don't like me uh, poking fun at you is what you say feel like I'm making fun of you. And it's very inner child-like. And it has a lot of resonance with the heart, okay? More than any of the other chakras, it's really loud in the heart. Of course, all chakras are working together in one way, shape, or form, but a lot of the energy about this is in the heart. All right, I'm going to have to make things worse because the only way to appreciate what you have is to take what you have away. And now suddenly it's like, oh, okay, I'm good with 50% off. <laughs> so the sun is going to go bye-bye. I'm making it extremely dark in here. This is oddly comfortable. You seem familiar with this. And the dark uh, has, a, has a voice to you. And you can translate m many versions of this voice, many different languages that you hear in the dark. I, this is going to get a little bit harder, okay? Because the energy, it's like energy around your ears and it's disorienting around the head and it's exhausting. And it's bringing a lot of energy down. And um, again, it's about the heart. So we're going to just let this take us down because you're going to have to go straight into your vulnerabilities and this is taking us into your vulnerabilities. So you're falling forward right now because you have too much energy in your heart and it's weighing you forward. And you want to fall and you want to collapse and you want to be done with it. And I'm starting to feel out that to hold the sun at that position, to see the horizon, to see how far you have to go to get to that goal is so much work and it demands and expects so much of you that you'll never reach it. Um, and now when we just take the sun away and now the horizon disappears and now the expectations go away, um, now suddenly you just want to be done. You just want to be done. And uh, I see you just kind of go into a place of just, I want to fall asleep and I don't want to wake up anytime soon. I just want to sleep for a long time. You've been putting so much energy into your life and into getting things done and getting places 
that it's it's now it's like um you can feel how hard you've worked it's ridiculously exhausting once you stop and actually take the time to feel how hard hard you've worked it's like suddenly you can feel all of that weight i mean you've worked really hard in your life so now we're changing the whole energy flow and now you're feeling reality in a new way and before it was like i just have to keep trying keep trying keep trying and then when i take the light out and and now i did make it disappear what is um ah i see what i still have to get done now i see nothing of what i have to get done oh my god i'm exhausted Wow, I've been trying so hard. I just don't even want to step forward. Not even another tiny little step. Okay. This is going to have a bit of a reaction here. Okay. A lot of hurt. You're kind of turning into a bit of a puddle, but you still have structure. You're just kind of melting into a puddle and you just, you're really angry with yourself right now because you just, it's, we're changing the whole dynamic of your program. So, all right. Just relaxing you down. This is a lot of heaviness in the head here. And I'm telling you, the weight on the front of you is substantial. So you're kind of like like you're the leaning tower of Pisa but you're not hanging in there you're gonna just go <laughs> timber or smack on your face but it's gonna feel good because you don't have to work anymore you can just fall <laughs> that's kind of <laughs> where you're at it's hard and easy at the same time and I don't have to try anymore okay I'm just gonna fall now <sighs> And you have a bit of inner battle because you're used to trying and now you're not trying and you're realizing how much effort you've put into trying. So you're having inner reactions to this. Anger, anger, anger is uh, have it happening around the ears, around the face, in the mind, above the head. It's like there's anger coming in here too. So a lot with the face. Exhaustion, lots and lots and lots of exhaustion. You feel like, again, more and more sinking, more and more heaviness, more and more the timber feeling I'm going down. <sighs> Doing a really good job. It's interesting because there's no weight in the feet here. So where, why is there, there's so much weight in stored in the face and there's so much weight stored in the heart. But how come we can't, like, let's move this weight down into the feet like we gotta, uh, we gotta move this weight around. <sighs> you're too top heavy, kind of thing. Yeah, you're still like just like scrambling you up here. I mean, I'm still working on adjusting you to this huge energy shift, this alteration in your program. You're still reacting, so let's just you're gonna keep reacting until you're ready for the next thing. So you're still reacting. You're still doing the same stuff. But I'm going to try and move more of your en heavy energy down into your feet, okay? Down into your roots, down into the earth, that sort of thing. I'm just going to move it down, move it down, because we need to get you kind of more grounded and more solid in your stance. Not more energy in your head and your heart to make you feel like you're going to fall face forward. Okay. Hmm. This could be heavy for a while. You are, um, it's an interesting space. Um, it's kind of like, let's just say you sink, sink into quicksand, but there's no sand here. It's just sort of like a nice textured density and you just absorb into it and you're just sort of like being held up by the, the like air. But the air is dense and holding you upright and it's a brown color like ground. And it's more squishy material. But it's not breakable. You could put like poke into it and it'll slowly come back to form. So you're just, you're just sunk into it and you're letting this hold you up right now. And I tell your energy field over and over again. You don't have to work this hard. 
You need to relax. You don't need to try this hard. Just let it go. Life is simplicity. Life is just allowing the truth to be. Life is just simply allowing yourself to be that truth. Life is you already are the sunlight. What The life is you have no more work left to do. Life is you are already complete. You've always been complete. I'm just putting more of this in. You, you tell me that when I say these truths to you, um, it feels like, uh, you're you're going into the doctor as a kid and now you have to get um, different shots, all right? Different shots for different diseases. <laughs> you know how it goes when you're a kid. Um, and But this time you've got like 19 shots and I just keep putting another shot into you. You know, that, like me saying these positive truths um, is torturing you. <laughs> I'm the kid and you're taking me into the doctor and now another shot and another shot. And why are you doing this to me? It's okay. This is called resistance to the truth. This is called resistance to love. This is called resistance to being your true self. This is called we're altering a program in your energy field. <laughs> you're going to be feeling better soon. All right, now it's going to hurt a little bit more. So now it's quite a lot more clear. There's like an evil like uh, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of thing. Like there's like an evil doctor in here. And um, he's cackling. He's got a really jacked up mouth and um, a giant light on his third eye. And he's just, you can tell he... You got good doc, got good cop, bad cop, good doctor, bad doctor. Like he's a bad doctor. He's a really bad doctor, and he's going to hurt you. He is going to hurt you really, 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 really bad. Um, and the room is splattered with red and black. So, and you can just see it's like his brains are even his face is just really jacked up looking. And then he keeps laughing hysterically as he holds another shot for you. And, um, but I say, this is your dream that you're living in. This is your reality that you're choosing. You can have whichever experience you want. What is the experience that you want? You say, I want more work to do. And so work is sometimes hard. Work is sometimes traumatizing. Work is sometimes not what you want. But sometimes the things that you want are the best things for you. You, you just, that's life. That's the way life is. So if this is the doctor that um, the universe chooses for me, then I will accept that and I will receive my shots and I will accept those shots and then I will just do the next thing. And life is like this. We keep insisting that life is like this. All right, so I'm going to do something. I'm taking you and I'm putting you into the psycho doctor. Now you are your own manifestation, okay? So now you are a psychotic doctor. Let's see how you feel about being this persona that you feel is appropriate for your own life. Oh, man. You, um... It's like a water balloon full of blood and um, your face pops. Like it literally explodes and blood goes literally everywhere. But you're still alive and you're laughing psychotically. And you're ready to mutilate the little girl that's on the table here. And you think this is so great and so funny. And she's good with it. She wants me to do this to her. She wants me to make it really scary and horrifying. So I'm going to do that. And you're like a silly laughing like psychopath. Like you're like, <laughs> she likes this. I'm going to give her another shot. <laughs> like you literally are like this. But your joy, the joy inside is like ridiculously like boisterous. Like the best day of your life right now. And the little girl is accepting. She just sits there quietly and patiently and says, okay, just do what you need to do. And I just put time out because you have to see these two mirrors here. And I say, what is it that you actually want out of life? 
because you're saying that life is like this, but is that what you want out of life? Because that's what you're going to get out of life then. Because you can say, oh, you know what, I don't really want like this. I don't really want this. I know it's kind of, um, I mean, I get the whole concept of life isn't always awesome. <laughs> life isn't breathtaking every single day. You know, if life was breathtaking every single day, it wouldn't be breathtaking because it would be exactly the same. So we need challenge in order to appreciate the non-challenging times and how breathtaking life truly is. Um, but you're doing this to an extreme and you need to tone it down big time. <sighs> okay. A lot of your energy is, is actually suddenly, it's it, it just starting to send it down from the face and the heart. And it's just starting to send downward. <sighs> this is a really good choice to get a follow-up session because the work that we had done in that soul journey was was really awesome for you. But this, this is going to continue to clear out anything that is a remnant of what you feel that you're still connected to as an old version of yourself. Like we're letting go of all that so you can truly feel the ascension to this new timeline that you're entering into and that you've already entered into, okay? This is really old stuff that you still feel is your reality. Now, what if we what if we allowed life to be everything you always wanted it to be, and that it's you, that everything you always wanted life to be is you, is yourself, and it's it's what you are. You are super struggling with this one. So, you're the cool thing is is you're not afraid of this doctor, and. Uh, People would be too super rejecting of this experience, but you're you're just like it's just another experience. So you you're really accepting of extreme things, and uh, so the spirit realm is asking you to. What is it that you want out of life? Because you don't have to subject yourself to this. So what is it you want? Because you can say no. That they show me, though, too, the detail that you are a child, and as a child, you don't get the right to say, this isn't the doctor I want, I'm leaving this doctor's office right now. Because mom and dad would be like, well, this is our family doctor, you don't get to decide, we decide, so you're going to have this experience whether you like it or not. That's what parents always say to kids, right? <laughs> you just deal with it. That's life. You really took that one to heart, but you're now the adult, and you're not a child and you decide now what you want out of your life not what somebody wanted out for your life for you over and over and over and over and over again and now you're still like holding on to the same idea you're not a child anymore and you're not the child that is being told what is going to happen and you have to adjust to it whether you like it or not you're not that anymore that is so old and long time ago so I'm changing this girl to a woman, all right? We're still in time out, but I'm talking to your inner essence and giving your inner essence perspective. Now I'm changing some of the details so your inner essence can learn and see and experience differently. You're still the psycho doctor, and now instead of a child, you're a woman, and you get to decide, is this the experience you want to have? with the psycho doctor which is also you but we're going to focus on the woman right now <sighs> this is a bit gross and surprising but um you as a woman you suddenly you show me something disturbing and your defined feminine space is uh been eaten eaten into and it's full of maggots and worms and things. And there's blood. So it's like, um, I mean, you have a huge gouge. Like like the ice cream scoop takes scoops the ice cream out. Now there's a gouge in the ice cream. Like you have a gouge scooped out of your divine feminine space. And it's being eaten by maggots. And then it's bloody there. 
and you're turning off your mind and so this too is acceptable this is just life as well life is hard <sighs> spirit guides aren't gonna give allow me access to the psychotic doctor because i was gonna see what the <laughs> response on the other side is but i'm not allowed to so let me see here hmm what we're going to do is we're just going to evaporate. No more psychotic doctor. You have a loving doctor now. You have good doctor. <laughs> and the good doctor is you. And let's see what the good doctor that is you. Let's see how that doctor cares and supports the woman that is you. Let's see how you love yourself. Because all of that, I mean, I'm even seeing that this is a huge, like, energy that's being pulled from your mental body and released. Um, and it has to do with um, what you have to put yourself through to get through each and every day. And it's also an internal battle. It's accepting the psycho doctor of life and of your of your inner essence and stuff like that. So that that's all. It's like wafting out of your face right now. And now we have you the good doctor is taking care of you the woman it's a huge shift huge change of things suddenly the good doctor that is you is doesn't remember going to medical school <laughs> and is like um how come i don't know what i'm supposed to do here i don't know how to help this woman <laughs> hmm and I say, well, what's the first idea you get? Let's say you never went to medical school, so you don't know literally anything. What's an idea that you get? What's something you could do to help another person who needs help? She says, well, I'm not good enough. I won't say the right thing. Like It's like you're kind of like, okay, well, I could um, just give her a hug, but she has a giant gouge, so I don't know how a hug is going to be good enough. Um, I don't want to look at the giant gouge, so I don't really want to be a doctor that heals that thing. So I could just be, you know, just nice to her. <laughs> and I say, okay, well, what's wrong with being nice to her? I think she could use somebody being nice to her. So why don't you just be nice to her? Let's start there. You just keep shaking your head and you're like, that's not going to fix a problem. That's just not going to fix a problem. Just being nice to her is not going to make the gouge and the worms go away. I've got to do this. i got to do something. It's like, you know what? You just, you got to follow your heart. Your heart says give her a hug. So just give her a hug. That is the first thing that you know that you can do. So just do that. And don't put a value on whether that is good enough or not. Just give her a hug. So you give her a hug and um, you start to absorb it into her. And I see two of you and your twin sisters. And um, you're both crying and you're both like holding your hands like this, sitting right next to each other. And it's like you, you've lost something or something was taken from you and you're holding like your own guts in your hands. And you're just doing identical things next to each other. And you're like, ah, 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 like this. I'm just going to relax this down. So as you can see, we're working on your sexual body here. What in the world happened? I, I don't know, but this is how it's expressing itself in images and feelings. It feels like this. <laughs> I'm just relaxing it down. All right. You have a bunch of different um, selves here and um, a lot of uh, energy weight starting to bellow up into the heart and the face and the mind. Like, I mean, you're starting to fall, for, fall forward again is what it's like. And you're really tired and exhausted and your head is just oh, back of your mind. I mean, you're just very exhausted right now. Just 
Very, very exhausted. You don't feel like you can rest. It's like no rest for the weary. And um, I'm going to force you to lay down. I'm not going to let you leave. You're going to lay down. You don't get to go anywhere. Even if it drives you insane, you have to lay in bed. All right. Your bed is... Uh, this again, you see how hardcore your program is? Um, so I lay you in bed to rest. But the rest, no rest for the weary is like your bed's turning into like riddled with insects crawling all over you and you're screaming and you're like flailing your body and your arms and you're not allowed to leave the bed and this is torture. But none of that's real. It's all just simply an idea that it, it's like this, that life is full of suffering. Life is hard. Life is expecting a lot of you. You just deal with it, even if you don't like it. I tell you, you can make the bugs go away at any time whenever you're ready. Okay. This is pretty good here, Jennifer, because I'm getting deep here. I'm going really deep, and you have a dark side of yourself that's coming out, and... Um, Give me a minute. Okay. All right. Lots of exhaustion. Again, more weight in the face and the heart, but it's really weighing down the neck. The neck's starting to get exhausted here. Uh, it feels like stress. Um, this dark side of you is just, it's just a wounded angel, you know? And it just, it's in agony from life. And it's tired and it doesn't want to go on anymore, but it's pissed off and now it reacts with violence, you know. But it's exactly what this wounded angel wants is just to be loved. So why is it reacting negatively to what it just deeply desires? Because it's been wounded. Don't touch my wound. It hurts. But yet to heal the wound, you need to be hugged. You need to be loved. So just allow it to happen. No. No. I won't allow this to happen. Get away from me. <laughs> it's okay. It's just a lot of hurt in here. It's pretty stagnant. I mean, we're we're basically this journey has been like um you're the awesome tree and you've got all these roots that go in deep into the earth. And one of these roots, which is interconnected with many roots, we're just going down, 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 down. I took the sun away, so we got to go down into your deepest, raunchiest, nastiest, rotted out root. And we're getting there, okay? We're just going to find a lot of calamity in the process to get down in there and nurture that root and bring that into full balance. And that way you can thrive and feel more of the light that you truly are. Because the light is never taken away. Nobody can take light away from you. You already are light. We can only create the illusion of, of that happening, but you relate to the illusion of it. So because you relate to the illusion of it, now I can go to why that is and heal that so now it, that never did exist. You're so exhausted down here. It's like, how much more exhausted can we get? Really exhausted. <laughs> it is going to get even more exhausting. <laughs> okay. Hmm. You're walking through the dark. And uh, the bed with all the bugs is only slightly, a slight distance away. We are basically carrying it like a balloon in your hand. Um, so it's very close to you and that scene is still existing. It hasn't evaporated yet. I can feel you carrying that with you. And you're walking through the dark and you're kind of not sure where you're going. 
So you bump into walls, but you keep trying, you keep persevering, you will keep going, even if you can't tell which way you're going, which way to go. You are wise enough to say, um, I, it's okay if I don't know where I'm going. I just feel like I need to move forward some direction. That's an, a wise thing because like truly we, nobody knows where they're going in life because we don't know the future. And so we just go and then we go to wherever we're going, you know, <laughs> and then there we are. That's all we know as human beings. That's all we're meant to know. We're just meant to live like this. And that's wonderful. That's perfect. And you're okay with bump bumping into walls and not even knowing where these pathways lead. You just want to keep moving forward, which is really wise and, and cool to see that. You're pretty wise down here in this dark place. And you tell me that you know it's full of golden light. You just can't see it. And therefore, you, it will just, you'll just acknowledge that it is golden light. And even if you're blind. You're really wise down in here. But um, I'm, I haven't figured out how to take the burden off of the back of this part of you. And this is deeper than all the other parts I've seen. And this part of you is still holding onto the balloon of that cult, that crazy bed. <laughs> I'm going to put time out here as well. Just stop time so you're not moving, you're not going anywhere. And um, I show you the balloon that you've been carrying. And I say, you can see just fine. And I need you to start acknowledging that you see and stop acting like it's all dark and that you have to decide it must be golden light even if you can't see it. That's, that's asking too much of you. You already know what is existing here. Then just simply see it. But there's more that you should be seeing right now. This part of you shouldn't be a challenge here we shouldn't shouldn't be again i've got to try to get somewhere you know so now we create the illusion of an effort that we must conquer this effort to get to that next point you you literally are working 50 percent, 75 you're working way harder than than you actually are called to be working <laughs> the universe is telling me that jennifer is w working some ridiculous lot and she's not she doesn't have to if she doesn't want to and we really feel strongly that she doesn't want to and so we're we would really like to help her to stop working so hard <laughs> so here we now again have to create an illusionary effort in order to conquer this problem which there is none you are wise, but you are still um, falling into your vulnerability. Showing you the balloon and the bed with all this insects on it. And I say, that's you right now. Did you know that you are on a bed covered in insects? But those insects you created in order to create again challenge. Do you know that there's a psycho doctor and another version of yourself that is receiving shot after shot after shot and never goes away? Did you know there's a version of yourself that is trying to nurture and trying to be a loving doctor but doesn't know how? Doesn't even know how to give yourself a hug? Do you know all this stuff is going on inside of you? Um, this part of you is just totally... It's not the time out that's stalling you. You're actually turning into stone. And you're feeling disappointment in yourself that you haven't been able to see this. That bothers you. Because you're smarter and cleverer than that. You're clever enough you should have noticed. How is it you weren't able to see that? Hmm. 
Mm. I say, when are you going to stop being in the dark? Mm. Okay. The next level of all of this is it's getting very slow, very dense, almost into a place where there is no, like, where time stops. Not because I made a timeout, but because we're getting to a frequency within yourself that is like this. So I'm just going to go deeper, and this is energetically exa an exhausting space, okay? <laughs> And in here, there's a part of you that's very, very tiny. Like, like a tiny little speck of pepper. Very, very tired. Very withdrawn. Very distant. Very disconnected. Mm. Just wiped the slate clean in the mind so it doesn't even know that it exists kind of thing, doesn't even know that it is there, but it's all an illusion again. It does know that it's there, it just decided it just doesn't want to be, it doesn't want to have the thought. I'm just going to be this, and I don't even know what this is, this is how it would define itself. If I don't know who or what I am, then I am, and I don't really exist, even if I exist, but I don't have to think, I'll just be suspended here. But none of these thoughts are actually had. This is just to help you comprehend this tiny little part of you, which is the really in the depths of the roots of all of this stuff. So it does have power. It's dirty, it's disgusting, it's filthy, it's diseased, it's infected types of um, energies that are vibrating out. Like I touch it with my finger and I'm filled with this d dirty, disgusting, infected feeling. Like I'm tainted, like I'm, um, I'm a foul, dirty thing now. I'm like an old dish rag thrown into somebody's face and they say, ew, that's just disgusting. And that's me. <laughs> This little black pepper feels very disgusting. But it doesn't choose to have a mind to think about itself. So it just emanates this as its identity, but it doesn't choose to think about it. And it also is oddly having, I mean, this is interconnected with the sexual body, interconnected with the mind, and interconnected with the heart. Okay, the pepper is starting to hear me and hate my guts for talking about it and pointing it out. But because it doesn't get to have a mind to think through, it's just trying to ignore that it heard me say any of those things. Hmm. It's calming down and relaxing. I'm going to show this little black pepper what we saw in the beginning with the golden sunlight and the beginning of a new day. See what it, how it reacts to that. They say, do you know I, I started here? This little pepper turns around away from the image and says, I want to go backward. I want to go back in time. And I say, no. No. You're going to be happy right now with where you are. And you're going to let go of anything you think you need to find 
anything you think you need to do, anything you think you have to accomplish to make things right. There's nothing else. You've done it already. You're complete. There's nothing else that has to be done. Okay. More challenge. So the black pepper doesn't like this. <laughs> because what we're trying to do here is we're going to clear the program. That A, B, C, life is about work. Life has to be put, we have to put effort into it. And the effort then makes it a better life or helps us to deal with life or whatever. Um, and so now, again, we're trying to create the idea that there is more work to do when there's no more work to do. And so the little black pepper doesn't like that I'm not going to take it back to wherever it feels like it has to go in order to resolve something because there's nothing to resolve except to let go of the need to feel like you have to keep resolving stuff. Like you have to keep working and doing things. There's nothing else to do here. And so it's reacting to this. It's like telling somebody who's a really clean person or how about somebody who has an actual disorder? Like they have to keep washing their hands and they'll never be clean. Never, never, ever, ever will they ever be clean enough because there's germs, right? Well, what if they can't access water and soap anymore? How are they going to react to that? They're going to freak out because the program says I'm dirty. And so I have to keep washing my hands. I have to, because that's the only way that I am going to be in balance with what is a healthy balance in life and myself within that healthy balance and the healthy balance within me. So I must wash my hands. And if you say no, no more water or soap, there's nothing that else can happen but a total freak out and breakdown because that is the breakdown of the program happening there. It's like going on a diet or starting an exercise routine. We Everybody who's not used to eating healthy or exercising at 5.30 every morning is going to have a freak out because it's breaking down an old pattern. What I was doing and now I'm doing it differently and now the different way I'm doing it is freaking everybody out, you know? And that's what change is all about. Change is about letting go of the way that it was and now entering into a new way of being and it takes an adjustment. And so I'm just letting this, it's like a, it's turning into a black scrambled egg. It's popping and cooking and freaking out and reacting and making strange noises. But I just have to let it keep doing that. I'm not going to feed it its addiction. Give it what it thinks it wants. So my spirit guides say there's one more step and they show me that I, I have to go inside of the black pepper which looks like a black scrambled egg right now that's still sizzling and popping and I got to go inside of it and there's something even tinier than that. This is painful and uh, it's literally just like a tiny little glass shard, but I feel it in my finger. But when I feel it in my finger, there's glass shards entering into me everywhere. I mean, it hurts all over me. It's like, um, like pins and needles. It's like pain all over me. Pain in my feet, in my legs, in my hands, in my arms, in my face, in my stomach torso and back like every part of me aches and hurts and feels like pins and needles this is a baby in here baby mentality and the baby mentality is perfectly you know it's influenced by everything so it just sponges in everything so but the baby here is wise really really wise and I just touch the baby's third eye and head and ears and heart. And I tell the baby that you are beautiful and you are free and you are peaceful. There is no more pain. There is no more work to be done. You are released from any ideas 
because all there is is this peaceful place. And I put the baby into like a beautiful, I mean, there's, there's a lake here and trees and birds and sunlight and sunny day. And it's just a natural, like it's a nature scene. It's a very simple, beautiful, peaceful nature scene. And I let the baby just sponge it in. And the baby flickers between a, a dark and light side. So the dark side looks mangled and mutilated and gross. And the well, angelic side, the light side, just looks harmonious and simple and peaceful and relaxed. But there's no thought. I start to see the wounded side um, get less and less and start to fade and fluff off like an old skin. And it's just like harmony. And the baby starts to grow and it is full of light. And I see the baby is growing within a mother's womb and the baby's full of light. And the baby's at peace in a dark place and it's just like super bright and peaceful and happy and relaxed and no worries. And it's just experiencing is all. And the baby is experiencing being born and there's no fear or concern or resistance. I will say your mental body is super clear right now. It feels very relaxed. Your eyes feel like there's um, relaxation energy behind them. Ears feel more relaxed. The throat, the heart, emotional gut feels better, um, sexual body root, every, all your chakras are actually harmonizing from this accomplishment. Still feel a little bit of tightness in the emotional gut region. I'm just going to put my hands there. That's really good. A huge improvement. So I'm going to do, a, I'm just going to move your energy bodies into the heart. It's, they're still going to be in the same places, but their, their collective is going to be working together in love. Okay. And then we're going to just do some expansion here on earth and soul star chakras. So just me talking about it's creating a big um, energy movement. So I'm just going to stretch this out. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I can tell, Jennifer, you're gonna, you're probably gonna be tired after this session because your energy field is saying, I, I want to go lay down. <laughs> and uh, so, if you do feel sleepy, that's pretty normal after energy work to feel like you just need to relax, you need to just zone out, you need to rest more, just drink lots of water, and just take it easy because. I, this is a lot of energy movement going on. So even though you're just receiving energy work from a distance, you're also running a marathon inside yourself. So if you're running a marathon in real life, you need to drink water and you need to just let your body rest afterwards. So if you're running a marathon inside yourself, you also will need to drink water and just rest. It's like the easiest marathon you'll ever have to run. Just get some distance energy work, you know? <laughs> so... So if you are sleepy, just take it easy and drink water, okay? I'm just letting all, like your energy bodies are like, oh, I'm tired, I'm tired. <laughs> They're all saying this right now. So I'm just like picking up sleeping versions of you and I'm putting all these like little babies in cribs inside your heart, okay? That's kind of what they're like, really peacefully sleeping babies. So I'm just taking like, all right, we'll just take mental body, third eye and crown, okay? We just place it into the heart. Then we just take your throat, place it into the heart. And we take your emotional gut and we just place it into your heart. Okay. A little bit of movement here. Okay, better. 
Now I take your sexual body and place it into your heart. We'll just take your root and place it in there. <sighs> okay. Everybody's getting adjusted. I also like to take part of your root too and put it down beneath your feet, okay? Like really down in there. Get it connected with the earth. You're having a lot of reactions, so just I'm just talking through them here. Okay, that feels better. And I place a part of your crown here into your soul star chakra. Okay, I'm going to go through all these in just a minute. I'm just letting them react and do their thing. Feels good. Okay, just relaxing everybody on down. I'm relaxing your physical body. I'm telling your physical body you've done a really good job. I'm having you just drink water right now in your energy field. Yeah, you're too totally wiped out. I don't want to do a whole lot more because I d could... <laughs> I'm going to just do some really light touches here because you, your energy field is like pretty pooped out. <sighs> I'm just going to give you more time, okay? Time to rest. I show your heart and all your energy bodies are all resting in the heart and feeling love. Surrounded by love. Love within, around. And it feels nice to have friends. It feels nice to be connected with others. It feels like a rainbow of love. And nobody has to do anything because there's nothing else to do but just rest and enjoy life. You don't even have to do work 50%. You can work 25, you could work 10, you could work zero today. You can just work on just being happy, right? You can just be happy and love yourself. Okay, this is feeling good. I'm just gonna go up to the soul star chakra. Okay. Let's see what's going on in here. It's pretty disoriented. It feels like you haven't been using this, um, you haven't been using this much. Like it feels kind of inactive or forgotten about. And it's kind of dark and filled in. Like somebody dug a grave and then filled it back in with dirt, but nothing was really buried here. <laughs> I know it's a weird way of describing it, but it's filled in and it's empty. And then it also feels broken. And then it feels long forgotten about. And there's hurt inside of here. It's almost like it was a belief in a better world and it ended up shattering your soul. So, um, something about like dreams of what a good world could be. It just broke it down. It's like an old Easter egg that got stepped on. Hmm. I'm literally just cupping my hands around it and I'm bringing in you, the doctor, who has no medical degree. I mean, that's what you say. I don't know what to do. I don't think a hug is enough. Yes, a hug is great. <laughs> just give this old Easter egg a hug. Mm. Interestingly enough, you do, um, and your energy essence absorbs into this Easter egg. And you start to fill in all the cracks and you mend it. You keep talking about a twin sister. And you want to help her feel better and sometimes you don't know how. You just don't know how to help her. And I say, you're, you're thinking too hard here. First, you got to let your twin sister help herself. Second, you can give her a hug. And if that's not enough to help your twin sister, then she has stuff to work on. But you need to believe in yourself and you need to believe that hugs too are powerful. Now suddenly, whatever the twin sister energy is, is starting to absorb into you. Because he separated you from a part of yourself because you decided you weren't enough. And now you're starting to become whole again. 
your soul star chakra is getting really bright and it's um the shell is, that was cracked and started to mend is just completely breaking off because it doesn't need to be there and it's just turning into a bright star above your head and your crown is like drinking what is like angelic milk or something because i can see your crown is just like super thirsty for whatever energy is in here and it looks like a milk substance but it's more magical than that it's got like sparkles in it and stuff it's a little bit clear as well like i can see kind of through it but it's milky you just keep drinking it and it starts to fill in your crown with like really boisterous beautiful light and ideas and it starts to be drinking up by your third eye too and all this energy is starting to drain downward okay through your throat and your heart, your emotional gut and your sexual body and root and down past your feet into the earth, into your earth star chakra. Earth star chakra is like, like mouth, ah, like it's raining and it's like trying to catch the raindrops, but it's literally just like draining into like, ah, so thirsty. And I'm just going to really just emphasize the root is entering into the earth star chakra too. It's really good feeling when I do that. It's like a really awesome feeling. So this too feels a bit like um, forgotten about, cast out, forgotten, long forgotten. It's dried up. It's old, empty. It's like, it's like a they show me a tin can that's rusted and thrown away and it was like from 1950 and you found it in a forest and it just feels like a piece of trash and people littering you know <laughs> that's what your star chakra feels like it's sad it feels thrown away it feels like it's gonna cut you and give you like tetanus or something and you're going to have to go to the psycho doctor and get a shot. <laughs> and they say you're not infected. You aren't diseased. You have no tetanus. And you're not rusting. And you're not made out of metal. And you're not an old can. You're an angel. You're angelic. You're harmonious. You're pure love. You're earth. You're sky. You're everything. I see it starting, it's sort of like spinning in this direction, like forward, like the wheels on the bus go around and around forward. <laughs> it's always like spinning like this right now. And there's like a dirt on the inside of it. And it's starting to bathe in whatever this liquid is that's dra draining down. It's like actually washing itself off in it. And I'm placing a part of the heart within there because it just needs more love and support from the other chakras too. And it starts to cry and it feels forgotten about. It feels like it was left behind. It feels like it's been so lonely as well. Ah, and instantaneous positive change here. There's a, all of a sudden like it just the light switch turns on and it turns into like a like technic light technical like light show or something like there's there's all these lights and beams of light going in every direction down there and it instantly turned on the soul star chakra and it's like everything is starting to turn like the light just turned on everywhere all your energy bodies you just suddenly the light is turning on and it's like a disco party inside yourself and everybody's like dancing and moving like nothing ever happened. And now see, you're the golden sun that's rising. You're the golden sun that is rising. You are the bright new day. You are it. And you can celebrate you. And you are rising above what everything you've ever experienced in your in this version of time. Like you've you're rising above it. You already have risen above it. So all that old stuff is gone, totally gone. Doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, you're you're feeling really good. You're even the energy is coming back into you. So that totally completely exhausted is actually starting to di disappear, and you're starting to feel awake, and um different you feel different and whatever the program 
it it it's like you understand it, but it's not um, going to decide your day, and you're okay with that. And so you're not like it never existed. You're more like um, it's okay, and I'm okay with it. And I get to decide. I actually get to decide how much effort I want to put into today or not. Um, but I'm also going to give myself some room and credit and love myself more. It's kind of like you're really sensible about it. You're a lot freer and um, your throat's getting really bright too. Like It's like you want to express yourself more in a new way. And all this light is helping to inspire that. Okay, that's all I can share, Jennifer. Thank you. This was really awesome. Super unique. A really good follow-up session. Really good timing for it, too. Yeah, you're going to notice. Uh, it's Yeah, you're going to notice this change. It's really cool. Thank you for sharing as well. <laughs> I'm a little out of it, so give me a minute here to get back to my senses so I can say goodbye. <laughs> Mm. Oh, a really cool session. Thank you. <laughs> and um, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, <laughs> thank you everybody for watching. Thank you, Jennifer. I hope you all have a wonderful day.